Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on between you and your person. How do you feel about each other? Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, for the sign of Cancer Spirit. What do we need to know for Cancer Spirit? High Priestess Reverse. What? Okay, Three of Pentacles. I haven't even asked my question yet. Spirit, tell us about what's going on in the connection between Cancer and the person that you're thinking about connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about what's going on in this connection? Ten of Cups. What's going on in this connection between Cancer and this other person? Two of Pentacles. What else? What else do we need to know? What's going on? Cancer and this other person. Nine of Wands. So I'm all, almost got the sense that there's a seesaw effect in this connection. It goes from super happy to what in, what in the world are we doing? I also get the sense that someone's standing guard or someone is like not giving up based on an idea of happiness. It's like they picture this Ten of Cups and it keeps them there. They're not going to give up because they can see this Ten of Cups in their future. Oh, the High Priestess is reversed at the bottom of the deck. Some sort of reveal, secret revealed. Something is no longer a mystery, no longer hidden. Okay, what can you tell me about Cancer's energy? What is Cancer's energy in this connection? What is Cancer's energy in this connection? Nine of Pentacles reverse. What is Cancer's energy in this connection? Queen of Swords. What about Cancer's person? What do we need to know about Cancer's person? Queen of Cups reverse, Page of Cups reverse. Well, they are not doing well. Oh, yeah, they're not doing well. Queen of Cups reverse, Page of Cups reverse, Ace of Pentacles reverse, Strength reverse. So let's get some insight into the energies in your connection before I clarify. Tell me about the energies between Cancer and this other person. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the energies between Cancer and this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Tell me about the energies between Cancer. Strong bonds, mirrored souls. Okay, so very strong connection that you have with this person. There could even be strong bonds within a family unit as well. Sudden realization and closed off. Intuitive, instinctive and perceptive. The bottom of the deck. Closed off, sudden realization. Someone's closed off to an idea, a truth, I feel. Because there's a very strong bond here. So it's almost like they can't see something or something is being kept from them. Okay, let's get some insight into what's going on here. What's this Two of Pentacles about? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Justice, 
Libra energy. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Three of Wands. So I feel like someone's just kind of juggling, going back and forth about a decision. And instead of making the decision, they're kind of waiting. Again, a seesaw effect I'm getting. There's a Six of Pentacles. There's a scale. Back and forth, back and forth. Maybe they go back and forth about the decision they would make or they would take. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? And why is the Nine of Wands here? Knight of Pentacles. Someone's been kind of like, I feel waiting for this offer. Yeah, someone's waiting for a big offer. That's why they're still here. They're still here because they've been waiting for a solid offer from another person. There's the devil, Capricorn energy, the bottom of the deck, queen of wands, five of pentacles. So what's up with this 10 of cups? Oh my God. The lovers and the queen of cups okay so gemini energy here with the lovers but this is telling me that there is a soulmate situation here and a lot of love i feel emotions real ones but i don't know i feel like this seesaw effect situation is just not it's not helping things something is off here i feel i just can't see it Can I get one card, please, for this energy between Cancer and this other person? Overall energy, please. Spirit, overall clarity, please. The, energy. the world. And then the tower at the bottom of the deck. So, cycles that end for new ones to begin. And again, I'm getting like a circular situation here it's almost like this has been going around in a circle when there should have been a, a uh, an ending and a beginning if that makes sense I think someone's been promised this Knight of Pentacles page of Pentacles and instead of being given this offer they've been waiting and it's just kind of like being stuck in this circle here okay let me get some insight into your energies and this person's energies tell me more about cancer and this other person we need to know about cancer and this other person tell me about cancer cancer feel free to flip these energies i have you on one side and your person on the other but they can be interchanged tell me about cancer's energy despair tell me about this other person's energies this person that cancer is dealing with what do we need to know marriage what marriage adjudication oh is someone if your person in a long term commitment thief at the bottom of the deck if they are married, this is making sense. Judication is waiting for a decision. If they're married, that justice card makes a lot more sense. Tell me if you're dealing with someone that's already in a commitment, Cancer. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you feel comfortable with that. Tell me about Cancer's energy. Yeah, the sea serpent and the dragon. Two spiritual energies on your side. We'll look at those in a second. Tell me about Cancer's person. Tell me about Cancer's person. The oyster, clamped shut, closed off, not saying something. And then the hyena at the bottom of the deck. This person's hiding something, Cancer. They're not at your level, I can tell you that much, because you have spiritual energy on your side. Let's see, the sea serpent, I believe, is about... 
Oh, healing emotional wounds, expressing yourself, expressing your desires. We express ourselves without fear or shame. We know what we desire. We loosen the grip of self-judgment and we let forgiveness in to heal our wounds. And then the dragon is about seeing one's most true self. The dragon sees everything. So I think that you are understanding something. You know what you desire, but there's a truth that you must admit or understand regarding that desire. And maybe there's some healing that will have to happen, Cancer. Queen of Swords is here. Queen of Swords is very knowledgeable, very astute. They see things, they understand things. And this Knight of Pentacles re reverse tells me you are attached to something. You're not free. I feel like you're this Nine of Wands. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Why is the Nine of Pentacles reverse here? Yeah, you're holding on. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. What's this Queen of Swords? The Hierophant. Taurus Energy. And there's the uh, High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you know something about a commitment, a contract, or someone's secrets or mystery or whatever this person is hiding. I think you already know it's tied to this commitment or to the idea of them committing to you. There's something that you might not know very clearly about that. There's the chariot. There you are, Cancer, showing up to your own reading. It's almost like intuitively you know about a certain move you need to make. Let's see. Can I get one more for the Queen of Swords? Why is the Queen of Swords here? Six of Pentacles, giving and taking, giving more than another person. Can I get one more with the Queen of Swords? Okay, I think that was the Strength card. What's that Strength? No, <laughs> I was off. Seven of Swords, yeah. I think you know that this person is not giving you everything. Maybe they're not able to give you everything. Maybe they made promises to give you something, but they can't deliver because they have the Ace of Pentacles reversed. And um, I think if this person made you a promise, I don't think you can really take that promise at face value. I think that promise is not enough because I don't know, there's something here that it's like, you're holding on to this connection, maybe energetically, maybe emotionally, you just haven't been able to truly let it go. Um, maybe you, th you think this is your soulmate or there is a soulmate connection here and it makes it hard for you to let go, but there's something off about this person. They have not been completely honest with you or their intentions are not great. And it's not that they're doing well over here because the Queen of Cups is reversed, the Page of Cups is reversed. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse and Page of Cups reverse. What do we need to know? What do we need? Page of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse and the Page of Cups reverse. Five of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. I mean, Queen of Cups reverse and Page of Cups reverse. What do you need to know about these others? death and three of pentacles scorpio energy i think this person knows that they're not happy and that they should change or end a situation maybe they've begun you know the initial steps to do this but the ace of pentacles is reversed so this could be financial difficulty this could be experiencing some sort of a loss here tell me about the ace of pentacles reverse Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse. The 
the magician. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse. What do we need to know? Six of Swords. So maybe they really want to leave the situation that they find themselves in. Yeah. They want to walk away. Eight of um, Cups. Six of Swords. Maybe they're trying to manifest this, but they don't have money or they don't... They're not able to commit to this idea or they're just not doing well. I'm not very stable. Ace of Pentacles reverse. I think that, oh wow, the Four of Cups, Three of Cups. I think that this person might miss this opportunity if they're not careful. I have the Wheel of Fortune here and then the, the Four of Cups is all about not really seeing a cup that's presented to you. I think they're so tied up in the situation that they find themselves in. And I feel like maybe they could even be close to giving up. Maybe, you know, they go back and forth. Maybe that's why we have this little seesaw effect up here where it's almost like one day they're ready to have justice. And then the next day is like, I'm scared to lose everything. I'm scared of the conflict, you know, or whatever. I don't know what it is. I mean, this magician and king of wands, they got things done. Like This is action. This is straight up action here with the magician and the king of wands. And this action is tied to a departure. So I just don't see what the problem is, you know? Why is this person so affected? If they already know what they want to do and they're sure about ending a situation they find themselves in, what's the problem? You know? Why being closed off? Why are they not being open? You know? Why are they not being clear? Why are they being a seven of swords? What this tells me is that their desires and their actions are not aligned. Tell me about this person's energies towards cancer. What do we need to know about this person's energies towards cancer? It's all my fault. Can I get one more about this person's energies towards cancer? I have a choice to make. Yeah. So they already know that the decision lies with them. So what's the problem? Once again, the opportunity is there. Why a four of cups? You know? You need to definitely have this full energy, King of Cups, Knight of Cups, Temperance. Everything is here for them. But I feel like this Three of Cups is like an issue. Maybe they are waiting for a decision regarding their commitment. Maybe the other person, the third party, is keeping them bound in a way. Maybe they refuse to play games or play ball. I, how, that's what I meant, play ball. So maybe this person, this third party, I'm picturing someone literally batting, so like play games. Um, so maybe this person that your, your person is dealing with, the third party, they're causing more problems or slowing down the process, making the process longer or more difficult. I don't know. Nine of Cups is here. So, and the Hermit Virgo energy. I think this person needs to be honest with themselves because it's almost like they're thinking that they don't have any other choice but the one that they're stuck with. And that's not true. There's always a choice. And even if it's difficult, it doesn't mean that it's over. You know what I mean? Like, just because a challenge is difficult doesn't mean that you can never overcome it. It just means that it might take you a little bit longer. But I get the sense that this person, it's almost like they haven't realized that. You know? Maybe this person wanted to end things in a peaceful way without having to lose everything. And maybe that's not an option. So now they might be rethinking that choice. But it's like, what, what matters more to you? Because there's a reason you wanted to end everything and leave things behind, you know? So if you can't have it your way, you're just not going to do it at all or 
just because the boat will be rocked and things will be difficult and you might have some sort of loss it means that your happiness isn't worth anything you know what i mean i hope i'm making sense but that's kind of the energy i'm picking up from this person so let's take this to the extended cancer i'm going to figure out where all of this is headed what's the hold up actually it's what i want to know because the energy is very clear so what's the hold up why is the seven of swords here why the three of wands right i'm going to get some i'm going to actually separate those energies specifically and get some clarity on them and also figure out your person's true intentions towards you because i'm getting very conflicting energies over here <laughs> So I kind of want to know what's their, what's the end game with this person, at least in the near future. 